guys and welcome back to another reaction video today we are hopping into the 13th episode of season two of smallville suspect uh last time was probably my favorite episode so far of the series insurgents where because of lex and lionel's feud uh with their two uh competing businesses and things like that um that lionel and martha end up getting in a hostage situation that lex did not plan on because all he wanted was to bug lionel's office and instead the guys he hired decided to rob the place so yeah good job guys um but of course we got to see downtown uh metropolis which obviously is vancouver but whatever um we also got to see the first shot of the daily planet awesome we got our first flight but he had literally just like left from uh, the Daily Planet to Luther Corp. Um, so that was really, really cool to see. Um, that was fun to watch. And yeah, I really watched my other video for that um, for for that episode because I, I freaking love that episode. But we are not talking about insurgents anymore. We are moving on and moving forward to suspect. If you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the other episodes uh, that I post, you can head on over to my Patreon page and the link is in the description below or you can hang out right here. If you hang out right here, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, here we go, hopping into the 13th episode of season two of Smallville, Suspect. Let's go. I thought the end of the last episode she was going to stay because she wanted to keep an eye on Lionel. That lasted really long. I will say though that was probably the right move and I'm kind of sad that she's not still working for him because I thought I think that would have been the right move to spy on Lionel because he knows a lot. There. Where the hell is your security? Yo! Where is his security? Seriously. Jonathan, what are you doing? What the hell? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. He had booze in a gun. What the hell? Damn. Who has half a beer? Really? So who stops at half? Are really that close to the smalls? Oh, it's a setup. Where's security before? I can't think of a person with a better motive for killing your father than you. Not Lux. They don't need a list of names. They need someone they can trust. I mean, sure, he's Lana's biological father, but barely know him. It's a lot to ask somebody you barely know. I went by the mansion yesterday. Your dad was there, yelling at Lionel Luther. I want you out of our lives once and for all. Jake, if we watch from me is equivalent to a Whitman sampler from you. Yeah, I wouldn't want my wife getting or my husband getting a watch from his or her boss. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to my family was getting involved with yours. Are you forgetting the circumstances of Clark's adoption? You stay away from Martha, or I promise you, you will regret it. Damn, Lionel. My dad told me he was running errands. Why would he lie to me? Maybe Yellowman was an errand. Yeah, he has anger issues, but he's not. Not a murderer. Deepest affection, LL. I was gonna give it back. I knew if Jonathan saw it, he would be furious, so I hid it. Oh, well, looks like you found it. And you gotta admit, this looks like motive. He found a watch and smashed it. That doesn't mean he's a killer. Circumstantial also, evidence. The bartender told me he got pretty drunk. Mm -mm. That doesn't sound like Jonathan at all. From the sound of things, he was really spoiling for a fight. I know Luther's a lying, miserable son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't get any arguments here. I make it clear the conversation is over. This is so out of, out of character for Jonathan. There's no way. I wish there were another explanation. But yeah, being set something. up. Right? It's a bullet. The only thing that bullet proves 
that somebody shot a shed. The sheriff said he found powder residue on my dad's hand. My dad said he'd never seen that gun before, much less fired it. He said whoever shot Lionel probably drugged my dad and followed him until he pulled over. Yep, and then that's what they did, yep. That bullet came from the same gun that shot Lionel. Maybe we can convince the police that my dad is being framed. Exactly. If he doesn't want to gain consciousness in the next 24 hours, he won't make it. I'm sorry. Damn. Someone put that gun in my dad's hand and fired it. That's why you found gunpowder on his skin. Or could be yep. your dad's. Whoever's trying to set up my dad doesn't want you to find that bullet. I don't know what it'll prove, but I'll get out there and have it tested. I don't think his father shot Mr. Luther, but I'm pretty sure I know who did. Yeah, he might hate his dad, but he's not going to murder his dad. Not in the current good guy he is. This entire father-son reconciliation act was just a smokescreen stab me in the back and buy out my company. You look at this as an opportunity for us to work together again. When I broke away from you, I swore I'd never be under your thumb again. I'll fight you on this and I'll win. All Lex had to do was wait until Lionel was alone. Thank you, Mr. Santori. I'll certainly look into that. In your heart, you've always known what Lex is capable of. Not at this. Not at this stage. Future? Yeah. He wouldn't hesitate, but not now. I found it really odd that your dad passed up an opportunity to take on a Luther, so I ran a search on his legal history. It turns out he and his friends did a lot of business with, surprise, surprise, Luther Corp. Shocker. Luther Corp files a complaint against Henry Small that got him fired from his firm. So uh, that explains why you might hate the Luthers, but it doesn't explain why he won't take the case. If you want explanations, you're gonna have to go to the source. Dominic told me you got in a fight with your father just before he got shot. Why didn't you tell the police? Hi, Clark. How are you? It's not like I haven't seen you shoot someone before. Well, damn. Get out of here before you say something you really Right? Okay, Clark, calm. God damn, Clark. My dad's life is at stake here. So is my father's. Damn. Why didn't you tell me you had a fight with Lionel? Because I was angry. And me? No, and myself. When I found that watch, it reminded me of all the things I couldn't give. Aw, oh, man. The first time it felt like I was losing you. I'm sorry for not having faith in us. You didn't shoot Lionel. True. No, I didn't shoot Lionel. Haven't exactly kept it a secret how Jonathan Kent feels about the Luthers. Nope. What you could possibly believe me now. Well, if someone did drug my dad, this would have been the only place to do it. Do you remember if he was talking to anyone the other night? He was talking to everybody. Blowing off steam. Sounded like he had a major run-in with Lionel Luther. I've never seen my dad drink more than one or two beers. Are you sure someone didn't put something in his drink? Nobody had to put anything in his drink. The way he was knocking him back, there's no that doubt in my mind he did it. Yo, yo, Clark, calm down. Calm, yeah, Pete, come on. Help him out, help him out. Yeah, don't make it worse. Yo! Well, damn! Oh! What the hell? No, 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 no. Get out of there, get out of there! Holy shit! Oh my god. Damn, I think Pete loses more trucks than the Kents do. Well, definitely onto something now. Right? When that happens, you know you're on the right track. Dominic must have made quite an impression. This isn't about Dominic. He's asked the hospital staff to keep me away from my father. Regains consciousness, he may be able to identify who shot him. You think Dominic's involved? Why would he suddenly turn against Lionel? Because the decision to buy out LexCorp affects him as much as it does me. You made promises to me. You've been loyal, Dominic. Lex is blood. Yeah. You really trust Lionel? Really? If you worked for him for that long, you should, know you should never trust Lionel. Seizing the reins of a billion dollar corporation is a powerful incentive. Only yeah. easy for someone to take the blame. I know about the complaint Lionel Luther filed against you. Have you been snooping into my past? Chloe has. I was curious to find out why you wouldn't help one of my closest friends. Look, I didn't ask you to come barging into my life. Now she has boundary issues, that's for sure. I was defense counsel court appointed, which meant I didn't give a damn. Five years after his conviction, his family has the evidence retested, proving he was innocent. By then it was too late. He'd been executed three months before. Damn. After that, I hung it all up. I know you can't undo the past, but you can't hide from it either. Lots of reinforcements. Yay, there he goes. Of course. We need all cool. we can get, thank you. His dad's doing better. He's expected to regain consciousness. Oh, thank God. Maybe he can ID the real shooter. Well, that's a big if, given his blindness. The bartender who could corroborate his involvement has disappeared. Now, without him, it's gonna Damn. be Damn. Like yeah, the bartender is definitely involved somehow. Ew. Talk about sleeping with the fishes. Terrible line. I think I know who shot Lionel Luther. Well, damn, man. Lex said his father moved to another floor. <laughs> nice, Clark. 
Damn, Ethan! Come on, man! What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? Explain how a bar with repeated violations stays open? Or how all the evidence conveniently pointed toward my dad? You find out about my dad's fight with Lionel and all came together. Damn, Ethan! Come on, man! I guess I'll explain why security wasn't there. You just fight the cop. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. What are we doing? Alright, make up, guys. Make up. He's got a fair point. God, I love Lex. I'm sure some version of the truth will come out sooner or later, but I was hoping to hear it from you first. You got something for me? Oh, he's working with you. I hope this will be the beginning of a long and profitable relationship. Our arrangement was for this one time only. Mm, you don't know him very well. You push me, and I just have to make one call. Would that be to your attorney? Passed along your documented evidence. Damn, Lionel's so good. Don't make a deal with the devil, man. You'll own your soul. That's a good incentive. That is good motive for Ethan. Now it's time to look to the future together. Hmm. All right, let's talk about this episode. Well, that was the 13th episode of the second season of Smallville called Suspect. Um, but that was a pretty good episode. It's very entertaining. It kept you guessing. Um, I semi-remembered this episode, so I, I remembered that it was Sheriff Ethan that in the end was the one who killed them, but I couldn't remember, like, how they got there and why. Like, I vaguely just remembered who it was, so it did kind of spoil the episode a little bit for me, but you know what? It was actually still a pretty good episode, even knowing the ending, knowing that, you know, it, it was a fun guessing game, it, especially the first time you watch it, it is completely out of the blue. Um, and I thought it was a good twist. It was a very interesting twist, and he had a very good motive because he's being blackballed by Lionel, and he didn't want to be under his thumb, and that's understandable. Now, he went a little bit far with murder and trying to frame Jonathan, but it is what it is. Um, I really liked them just, like, flipping back, like, having all the different arguments play out and then flipping back to, like, that day. And so, like, you think every single one of these people had motive. They did. They had good motive. But, obviously, it was not Jonathan at the beginning. You see with all the tequila and um, just him getting super wasted, him having a gun. Like, he has a shotgun. He doesn't have... He, he doesn't have a small gun like that. It's just like, okay. It was just completely not him at all. So, you knew it wasn't him. At this stage, Lex is too good to kill his father at this point. So, you knew it couldn't be him. It could have been Dominic, that's for sure. Um... The, that way security would actually let him in, like, because he's an employee, like, and he's been there for a long time. And then, of course, it'd be really easy for the sheriff to get in because who would suspect the cops? But I thought it was a good twist, an interesting twist, and it just goes to show the bad blood of the Luthers. It just goes to show the poison that Lionel is and the poison that Lex is going to become. And you can see why Lex ends up becoming the man he ends up becoming. So I thought it was really good. Very entertaining. It kept you guessing, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, um, of course, we did have a little bit more of Henry Smalls and you know, kind of his past and what happened with him and the Luthers um, and why he kind of is the way that he is and why he isn't like a big lawyer anymore and why he just does like small cases out of his living room because he like made a mistake because he didn't care and a man was killed because of it. So that's very understandable as well. Um, and so you get to see Lana and Henry's relationship start to build as well. Uh, yeah, I thought it was good. Of course, Lex and Lionel scenes are phenomenal. And we shall see what happens with Lex Corp and Luther Corp and just everything that's going to happen with the Luthers. Um, and we'll see what happens going forward. So, uh, all in all, I thought it was a fairly good episode. Again, like, these really good episodes are the ones that are centered around the Luthers and the Kents and, and are centered around not media freak people. 
Like those are the best episodes. This was enough solid episode. So I'm gonna give this episode an 8.5, a strong 8.5. I don't think it's quite a nine, but a strong 8.5. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, we have so for the tally board, we have plus two for hospital visits with uh, Pete and um, Lionel, obviously. And then we also had the reverse pseudo suit when he was looking for the uh, bullet in the shed. So that's a plus one there. And so now we're up to four. And I'm excited to announce we have a brand new tally board. So this one, you might be wondering, what was this about this one? We saw, so when Clark and Pete were driving up to um, the bar before the car got shot and exploded, they were um, driving past a bridge. Now that bridge is seen throughout the rest of the series. It is seen in all the Arrowverse shows. It's like the famous bridge in Vancouver that the CW uses over and over and over again. This is the first time we see it, so I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna use a counter for how many times they use this bridge or they film underneath this bridge and act like it's somewhere completely different <laughs> than where it actually is. So this, so I'm gonna call it under the bridge. Makes sense. So we have a very first tally for under the bridge. So uh, if you wanna see my full reaction, go ahead and head on, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Um, are not that's cool Let's be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time on the next episode of smallville